Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel where I make quality content that nobody really asks for. So today's video, I am super excited because another doll unboxing and review video. And the doll that we're reviewing here today is my second doll from the LOL Surprise Tween doll line. And they're so cute, and I literally need all of them. But right now, I only have two, and the second one that I'm reviewing today is the Lexi Girl doll. And let me tell you, I think she might be my favorite. I don't know because, I, you know, Aya Cherry, I keep saying she's my favorite. But after looking at Lexi Girl for a while, I'm like, mm, I don't know. She might be my favorite. So yeah, I am very inspired by her today by my makeup look. I try to copy her makeup, but I think it came out okay. But I absolutely love this doll. I love all the colors that's going on all the pastelness and i just need to open her up as soon as possible so here we are today so here's her box and they have the clear package on the doll right here so you can see the doll which is super nice and the rest of the thing has her artwork and stuff like that on the side here's the back of the box with all the other four girls and here's a little sister and i am just super excited to open this doll so let's just do that right now so let's just dive right into the video no long introductions needed this time so like obviously the chair that where it has a v-neck i you know every time i wear a v-neck i feel like that you know scene from gravity falls with from love god where you know dipper trying to wear a turtleneck and a turtleneck like a v-neck and Mabel's like don't wear a v-neck burn it doesn't look good every time i wear a v-neck i think of that line i was trying to get the doll out of her package here and open her up together and kind of scoot it along along you know me always struggling with doll boxes and stuff what would this channel be without it as again it comes with this um little questionnaire sheet again which is cool and a little bit of instructions so here's the box i'll put that on the floor so here she is out of her box like without the clear package super cute you can see the vibes I try to give off today. And here's all her stuff on the side. But the one sad part is these dolls don't really have like a little playset like the bigger girls have. But that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. So let's just take her surprises out here. And just snip it a bit of it. Snip them off. I'm gonna fast forward that part right here. So you just have the doll hang right over there for a second because I just took all the little baggies out. So here's all her little baggies here. So she does come with the stand, which is this beautiful like sea foam green turquoise color and actually matches my eyeshadow. So I love this color. I think it's super pretty and I decided that this is her stand color and it's so cute and tiny because these dolls are so cute and tiny. So here's her dress, her surprise bag. See what they look like. Super cute. And they're made out of paper, so I'm just gonna rip first prize, surprise open. So, yeah. If I can. It looks like I had to snip the top. It's okay. Snip it a bit. And what's in her first surprise? In this little baggie here. It seems very tiny. Oh, it is a comb. Cute, a little bit squiggly line. And it has that purple color, which is the same color as her bangs and her eyeshadow right here. Super cute. So that was in this bag. That one feels really empty. Everything here is so tiny. I'm gonna snip this bag open with a little backpack. Assuming this might be a bag oh it's so cute so here's her little bag and his little stuffed animal kind of plushy bag and it looks like she got like two stuffed animals kind of have to sew them together sticking with that two-tone theme super cute oh are they little kitty cats yes they are oh it's kind of dark a little bit kind of creepy but still cute it is a little creepy i'm not gonna lie because like these little kitties have like beady black eyes and they're like staring into your soul. They're like, why did you cut me up and stitch me together? A little bit weird, not gonna lie. It's cute, but kind of creepy. I don't know, just a little creepy. Anything else in here? 
And that answer is no. I'm going to open the last surprise right here. Snip in this bag. And it's tiny. Okay. Let's unwrap the paper here. And it is bum ba da da bum Oh, dropped it. <laughs> a little bracelet piece. Oh, everything's gonna fall. A little bracelet piece. Okay. A little, I'm assuming another little bra- I don't know, it's kind of hard to show you because they're so tiny. It's not a bracelet, it's so tiny, it's hard to see. And her little kind of stud earrings here. They're like black studs with triangles. Kind of hard to tell. Because they're so tiny. Excuse my nails. They're just chipping. That's how life be. And so that's all her surprises. Her, I feel like this one doesn't have a lot of surprises. I feel like they're kind of less. And here's her play set here. Uh, I kind of want to snip this thing off. Kind of in the way. Without ruining it. But her little background piece is so cute. This is my aesthetic. This is what I live for. Is this aesthetic right here. So let's just take off this thing. But I tell you, I love this playset. Piece. It's so cute. Well, I want my room to look like this. So here's the doll. So let's try to snip the doll out of the package. And now put her accessories on and it can go from there. So I think I'm going to try to take the doll off camera and then dress her up. And then I'll come back and can get a look at the doll. And have my final review of this LOL tween dolls. Awesome. So we have the doll all dressed up and now her package and oh my goodness, I think she's, oh my gosh, she's just ready to, error, <laughs> let's try, <laughs> okay I am back and the doll is out of her package <laughs> again and here she is, oh my goodness, as I said, I think she's maybe my favorite, so hard to tell but oh my gosh, she is so cute, I can't handle how precious and cute and how much her aesthetic is so me. I just love this doll. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so let's just start with her face here. And her face is really cute. Um, my bangs are a little bit crooked, but that's okay because same. Her eye makeup is really cute. It's kind of similar to mine. Where she has this giant crease, cut crease. And she has these three little triangles on the bottom. And it's super cute. She has big old eyes. And I love it. And she has... Is her, is her lips two-toned? I think her lips are two-toned. The top lip, it's a little bit darker than her bottom lip. So I'm living that no can possible life. And I love it. And in her hair, she has these two little bow clips, which are super cute. They're, the bows are ribbons, but they're attached to a clip that attached to her hair. And her hair has three colors. She has this lavender, light purple going on on her bangs. And she has this light pink hair that goes on this side and this I'm gonna take it off her stand and she has this seafoam green turquoise type color going on on this side of her hair that matches her stand and then oops, her bag just went flying and here is her outfit which is two pieces she has this undershirt which is the same color as her teal part of her hair her turquoise and has little puppy sleeves and the puppy sleeves or a thin fabric. Ooh, actually, her undershirt has two different things going on. She has a solid pattern, and on the top, she has this more see through mesh color that's in this puffy sleeve, which are super cute. And then she has this little pink bow on top with this little lace. Oh, it's a choker, actually, I believe. Kind of, in a way, a little bit, but it's like a little overpiece. And I say, excuse my nails, they're kind of crusty right now. And then she has her little overall top piece, which is a little heart, which is super cute because it reminds me of my Star Butterfly original cosplay. And I love the, the little vibe she gives off. And it's two tones, two different fabrics, and had a little cross stitching because, you know, broken hearts, I guess, because I was supposed to be. And she even has little buckles on her outfit right here she has little buckles and it's so cute and here is the her other part of her outfit which is 
technically two parts. You can make it. At least he has three out, oh, three pieces, because he has these undershorts underneath, which is super cool. Did I know that? And they're black with pink polka dots. You know me, I love pink polka dot stuff. She has these little lace trims on the bottom of her shorts, so this could be a second outfit, which is really cool. You can make her outfit into a second outfit by taking off some pieces, which is great and add value to it towards these dolls. And she has this skirt over piece and it has two layers. So one is a, again with that two, the duo fabric with this fabric and this fabric and they're stitched together like her heart. She has this bottom ruffle with this black and pink striped fabric. And she has her little overskirt, which is also two-toned. And she has this clear mesh with pink polka dots and this another clear mesh with black polka dots. And it's super cute. And here's her bracelets on. And her nails on this side is the same turquoise pink. I mean green, blue, you know what I mean. And on this side she has this bracelet. And this, her pink nails. And I just love it. And her hair is curly and it's soft. It doesn't have a lot of product and I love it. It is done so well. This doll is so spectacular. And she has stockings right here and I love her shoes. Again, two tones. Let's match the rest of her outfits with the socks and the socks have stripes on them and they're super cute. And here's the back of her outfit here. Again, it's super cute. Here's her stand one more time. Let's put her on the stand. And here's her bag. Her little creepy bag. There's a cute creepy, like me. Kind of creepy, but love it. And it's just supposed to be like a wrist purse versus a backpack because I can't really get it on her back. It's more like a purse. So this is what she looks like with everything. And I love it. I love, love her. And the thing is, these dolls are $20, which is, I think, is the original price considering they're so perfectly in height. I love how short they are. I love how tiny. And you know, if you, I said this in my Aya Cherry video, it's one thing I like about these dolls because all little kids or people like to hold things. Like when I was little, I like to hold toys in my hand and these dolls are perfect for that. They're perfectly fit in my hands, you know? And I love it. She's super cute. And these dolls are only $20 and they're this high of quality in this short canvas. I love it. and. Now a lot of the LOL dolls don't come with two outfits I and mean, you can make them into two outfits but this one I feel like she literally has a hidden outfit underneath. You can take out this top layer and she have her shorts and stuff which is super cute and I love it. I love it. I love all this hidden thing and I like that she's wearing under garments because sometimes in dolls they don't and sometimes they flash panties. That's not good. So here she is. I put her right here. And she does have her little journal. So let me take that out. Oh, again, cute little vanity. Love it. Oh, I love this. She has Rocker uh, Metal Chick over here. I love Metal Chick. Also, it looks like her back. She is the blonde girl. Goldie, I think that's her name. Or Blondie, I don't remember. So here's her little you know, getting to know me profile. You know, this or that. She likes mismatch, obviously. She is more playful, and she likes to photobomb, I guess, which is awesome. Super cute. Love it. So that is just Lexi Girl. I feel like this is like the shortest doll review I ever did because these dolls are amazing. They're $20. There's nothing wrong about them. They're perfect. You know, the hair are perfect. They're perfect. There's nothing I can say about bad about them. There's nothing bad about them. They're literally perfect. And I love them. And I want to own a whole bunch. I kind of want to buy a second one. Like, why? I don't know. If they go on sale, I'm buying a second one that can be in a Mitch Match outfit. And I really love her. She is so cute. And I love her. I mean, mine has a little oopsie on her eyeball that I did not notice. But that's okay because she's so cute. And I love her. And I want another one. Not gonna lie. Anyways, that's this video. Hope you didn't find it boring or cringy, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't know what it is, but I hope you watch it. Okay.